How did it feel for uh, you and Andre to be back on the court today? Um, I mean, it felt good, you know, just being out there, you know, being out there battling with my guys, um, playing basketball. You know, it just felt good. I think your 15 games is the most games that you've missed consecutively in your career. I mean, sure. it was it maybe more challenging to brush off the rust, you know, after missing so much time than you thought? Uh, it was. It was. Um, you know, I just felt a little... A little rusty out there, you know, trying to get my get my feet right, <clears throat> you know, get back in rhythm. Um, but, you know, I know it's going to take, you know, a little time, just put in a little extra work and I'll be good. Were, were there specific plays or specific style of movements out there where you felt like, ah, I don't feel like myself? Um, no, nah, I just felt a little, a little slow. And that's it. You know, just one step slow. Reactions and stuff like that? Yeah. What um, was it like sitting out this much time? Because as she said, you've never done this. Um, it's not fun, you know, it's not fun, you know, because you miss just being out there, you know, playing, you know, you miss, you know, being around the guys. Um, but, you know, most importantly, it's just, you know, the competitive, you know, part of the game is being out there battling. I don't know how much you want to detail it, but, you know, at the end, it, looked like, it sounded like you were basically healed from the adductor mm -hmm. and almost about to come back even near Christmas. And then I know. You got sick. Just what was that? What happened in the last, I don't know, a couple of weeks? Um, you know, I got sick. Never, everyone in my house got sick. Um, right when I was about to come back, I was, well, I thought I was going to come back. Um, it was unfortunate, but you know, what happens. It was just a little setback, but you know, we're all better now. <clears throat> we're nearing the midway point, um, and with you being out maybe you've had a different vantage point of the game than actually playing just what have you seen from this team the way that they responded from the two losses in new york to mm -hmm. this homestand and where do you think you guys are at um man i feel like you know the team had a lot of growth you know in that in that time um i feel like everyone stepped up you know so much and everyone's playing high level basketball they were defending like crazy you know playing together and you know even <clears throat> if I wasn't here watching it or if I was at home watching it, you know, it was just, you know, beautiful basketball. You know, it was great to watch. Hi, Andrew. Um, do you, is there an approach right now in terms of how long you'll be on a minutes restriction? Is it just sort of based on how your body's feeling or is there a certain number of games that you've come up with with Steve um, and the staff? I'm not really too sure. Um, I mean, the medical staff will... I feel like when they think I'm ready, you know, for more. I feel like each game will probably just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more until I'm back to normal. Based <clears> on <throat> how you tonight and you said, like, you were kind of surprised, like it felt different, you were out for so long. Do you have a sense just how long you think it's going to take for you to feel like yourself again? Um, I don't think it will take long. <clears throat> I hope I'll be back next game, right? <laughs> Quick turnaround. I think you had like 30-something and, and eight threes in the last game that mm -hmm. you played. How good did your game feel at that point? Amazing. I felt like I was in a great, great um, rhythm. My shot felt like every shot that I shot felt like it was going in. Um, I was just in a great rhythm. And, you know, you didn't leave that game. and The adductor train kind of <coughs> popped up later, it seemed mm -hmm. like. Did you think that was just going to be a short absence or, you know? I just thought it was tight. Yeah. You know, that was it. But it seemed to be a little bit more. How frustrating was that process? You know, and, and did you feel like it lingered, I guess, longer than you thought? Um, I mean, a little bit longer than I thought. You know, I thought it was gonna be out maybe a few games. I'm like, it's not bad, it's whatever. Then end up being a little bit more. So now I'm just, you know, trying to get my rhythm back. Uh, Andrew, I know you guys kind of went through this last year where, you know, some somebody got healthy and then somebody <coughs> else got hurt. Uh, I mean, what's that like? You know, you and Andre come back, but then Clay's out. Um, but, you know, Steph's coming back this week. So, you know, what's it kind of like going through all these different changes with personnel? Um, that's just that's what it's like, you know, in the NBA. You know, injuries is unfortunate, um, but it's part of the game. <coughs> and everyone just has to stay ready, you know, because you, ne you never know, you know, what could happen or who's going to be out there, you know. We go into control, we can control. With certain injuries, sometimes players are hesitant to come back or they're worried about getting re-injured. Do you have any hesitance while you're out there? 
Um, no, I don't. You know, I feel like I, I practice hard, I rehab hard, you know, and I, I trust the medical staff here, you know, and, you know, they think I'm ready. I think I'm ready, so it's like a mutual decision, so I feel good. Terrific. Thank you. Appreciate that.